Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a simple optimization tutorial given Von Mises stress simulation for this trailer hitch assembly here. So we just have a little receiver tube and then just the actual full hitch. And uh, both of these parts are made of steel. And I've already done some work here as you can see there's been some uh, design studies done and some static simulations on the parts so I'll show you quickly uh, the optimization I did here before um, we're just gonna run through something a little simpler just for time's sake but uh, you can see that we have a couple given variables here for this optimization which is um, so rib 2 this these, uh, the angle and width here is for this little piece here. That's uh, that's rib two for the sake of this optimization, and, and uh, we're trying to change the angle between uh, the rib and the y and x axis, and also the width of it. So just how much it's taken up across there. And then we're doing the exact same for this uh, back rib, rib one here. Just changing the angle and width. And uh, I'd given a constraint that the total stress in the system, or the, or the maximum stress rather, at, at any given point, cannot exceed 300 newtons per millimeter squared. As you'll see in a bit, that does show up a rate around the, the ribs, is the maximum stress. So I wanted to keep that stress down below a maximum and then I wanted to minimize the mass of the total system so just kind of make this as cheaply as possible with as little material and I'll show you the results of that really quick we're not going to go too in depth again so I ran a lot of scenarios mostly a lot of angles with just some given uh, standard widths and came out with an optimized mass of 19.3 pounds with a stress well under my constraint. So that's all working good. And I'll show you guys the, uh, we're going to use the same simulation here that we had done before for the, the stress. And that, that does get used in the optimization when you are uh, constraining stress. So we have just two static forces, just uh, a force down on the uh, on the ball, and then a force backwards, just from the the pulling force of the trailer. And then obviously that downward force would be the the tongue tongue weight of the trailer pushing down. Uh, gave both of these a mesh, the both products. And just and then just ran this study, and we came out with the some graphs that show. And there, there you can see, right there is the really the heat map for the von Mises stress is very centralized around the rib. There's a a bit close to the front of the ball, but not nearly as much as on the rib. And then there's a little bit of a hot spot right at the where the rib meets the lower arm there on the back rib but that's uh compared to the front it's not much so this uh specific scenario is called static three just for our um for our study we're gonna do now what i'm gonna do is uh Go back to the model. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new study here. I'm gonna call this a design study, which will allow the just to do the optimization of the product. Click that. Now we're given we're back at what I was showing there, just but we're gonna we're gonna do this a little differently. We're just gonna do now. I already have parameters and everything from this, but I'll show. A parameter here. Uh, if we're if you're making your own parameter, you can use the. So for instance, I'll I'll just make a new one 
here, let's call this the hitch height. And let's go into that and that says select the model dimension you would like to link to this parameter. So an easy way to do that is just to just go into editing the feature and you can see all the uh, constraints and dimensions there. And if you, uh, you're still editing the, uh, and then you can see there's the angle. So that, that hitch angle right there, that 94 is actually that uh, constraint there. So I can click on this dimension and now hitch height is attached to that specific dimension. Let's just click OK on that. Now I can say that I want to, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm going to say that I want to range with step. Let's just say uh, we have a, so the current height is 8. Let's just say we can range that from 6 inches to 16 inches. And let's give a, a 2 inch step there. So that means it'll, op, it'll try a 6 inch height, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12, 14, and 16 inch. Now we can add some constraints. So we could say that the, uh, the mass of the system, let's just say it has to be less than, so we had about 19 pounds with a 8 inch height there. So let's just say it needs to be under 22 pounds. And we need to add some goals and that'll be the actually what's being optimized. So we could, we could, let's do another stress optimization. Let's try and minimize the stress and then we have to choose a scenario. So I showed you static three. We're going to, so we're going to choose that. So now we're saying we're optimizing the hitch height for between six and 16 inches. We need to make sure the mass of the total system, which is, uh, that was already defined just for the sake of time here. And then we're going to say that needs to be less than 22 pounds. And then just the stress on the hitch, we need to minimize that. So now it's as simple as just pressing run. We'll just let that go out. And uh, these results will come in as it's being optimized down below. So if we look at scenario one, you can see that there's a uh, an error here. So what that error actually is, is that this is too short. So it's not actually connecting to any of these. So it, it will throw errors if that does happen and it won't actually optimize it. And then go back to another scenario. So now you can see uh, these are some working scenarios is uh, the ones that are white and these are red because as you can see it failed our constraint that mass needs to be less than uh, 22 pounds so these last three scenarios although they have less stress maximum in the system they failed just based on the mass there so you can see that the optimal is actually the 8 inch that we already had which is uh, the same as scenario 2 here and uh, as you switch these, it'll actually modify the part as you uh, click through to see what how it affects that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I guess uh, how you run uh, optimization on a uh, stress in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching, guys.